Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie and I am presenting our paper on pilot surveys for adaptive informative sampling. The premise of our paper is as follows. Imagine a biologist wants to map an algae bloom at a certain depth in a lake using an autonomous underwater vehicle. The question is, how can we efficiently create such a map? Commercial off-the-shelf autonomous underwater vehicles typically use coverage methods, such as the lawnmower survey shown here, to create a map. However, if the bloom is only in part of the lake, a lot of time could be wasted. One approach for more efficient sampling is adaptive informative sampling. In informative sampling, you build a model of the environment from sampled data using your favorite modeling technique. In our case, we use Gaussian process regression. Then, you use information theoretic metrics, such as entropy, to find informative sampling locations. These locations can be used for deploying robots or sensors. When you create the model online, incorporating newly sampled data, this is called adaptive informative sampling. In Gaussian process regression, the predictive performance of the model depends on the model's hyperparameters. These are the parameters of the GP's kernel, such as the kernel's length scale. These parameters can typically be estimated from training data. One question is, how do we initialize the hyperparameters for adaptive sampling? Typical methods for initialization include estimating them based on prior data and using expert knowledge. Prior data may not be available though. In both cases, we would want to re-estimate the hyperparameters while we are sampling. The question is, how can we make sure to collect representative data at the start of an adaptive sampling routine to correctly estimate the hyperparameters? So for adaptive sampling, we want to try to get representative data and we wonder how we should set waypoints. For example, we can spread them out over the area for our coverage or we can randomize them. We developed a method which uses a softmax equation on the distance between potential waypoints and sampled paths to balance between coverage and randomization. We tested our algorithm for different values of the temperature in the softmax equation over simulated scenarios. We show that pilots with a low temperature, which optimize more for coverage, lead to the most stable performance. So, if you would like to know more about our research, please come see me at the interactive presentation. Thank you.